Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Shoegaze in 93 channel. And I have the Chapter House Chronology box set actually in my hands today. Today, the 26th of May, 2023, is the official release day of this incredible box set. Um, hello to Andy Sheriff, Stephen Patman, Ashley Bates, Russell Barrett, and Simon Rowe, if you're watching this, then that is absolutely incredible. And uh, cheers. Please like and subscribe while you're here as well. <laughs> Shameless plug there, but uh, had to be done. So let's open this. Uh, let's open this bad boy then. So, like I said in a previous video, this is a uh, six-disc box set featuring full albums, full EPs, B-sides um radio sessions rarities and remixes and it's got unheard demos from 94 to 95 so following the um the blood music album there's some there's going to be some unheard stuff so that's really that's the stuff i'm most excited for with this release um i mean obviously i've already got like whirlpool and i've already got like the eps like sunburst and freefall and i've got the pearl ep as well so i'm more excited to hear the like radio sessions and the uh the unreleased stuff especially it also came with some uh pin badges as well which i'll open so yeah this is all very nice nice presentation i love all the colors i think that's appropriate for this band like Colourful music, colourful presentation, visually and in audio together. Very cool. So, yeah, this is very nice. All the different colours there, look. You can see, see the blood music there with the kind of the jigsaw kind of pieces on it. Well, the locks, isn't it? It's like the locks from the... Um... Come on in, we are the beautiful... It's like the locks from that music video, uh, We Are The Beautiful. Uh, so let's have a look then. Wow. Nice. So first of all, there, picture of the band. This is a little book. This is a little book for it, which is nice. That's cool. I mean, I've seen some of this on Instagram already because I'm the Shoegazer 93 on Instagram as well. Um, if you want to follow me on there too. If you want to follow me on there as well as YouTube, then it's uh, She Gets 93. It's the same as this channel. Um, so, yeah, nice, great book with loads of old pictures. See Andy Sheriff there or Andrew Sheriff. Um, these, these must be like early gig, early gig posters in, in Reading. Spaceman 3, that's who they used to tour with, um, Jason Pierce's band, who later went on to form Spiritualized. Um, I think he, wasn't he in that Spectrum band as well? Or, was, or maybe that might have been other members from Spaceman 3. They formed Spectrum, which is another good band worth checking out. Um, there you are, so Chaps, Chaps as were a band who always managed to be in the right place at the wrong time. They were acid rockers as acid house hit. They were shoegazers when grunge germinated. They were experimental dance rockers as prit pop broke. It's only with the benefit of hindsight and a neat chronology, a range six CD box set, that we can really reappraise re them and see them for what they were, a band ahead of their time. And um, to me, I always thought they were um, very much in the same vein as Ride. I think both of those bands deserve so many plaudits for what they influenced and just incredible sounds they came up with the sonics you know the alan Mulder on board with ride and curve and my bloody valentine and swerve driver like alan Mulder, people like creation and 4ad they they just really knew what they were doing um People like Martin Hannett, even if you want to go further back with uh, Factory Records, uh, the Joy Division stuff and New Order stuff is pretty remarkable sonically, uh, especially for its time. Um, yeah, it's a nice, really cool, nice book. <laughs> like that sort of blurry, 
blurry band picture there. Pretty ass, pretty acid house. Yeah, I, I like this. Like, I like how it comes with the, the that's a Pearl EP there. I've got that on vinyl, 12 inch vinyl. Come Heaven and In My Arms are two of my favorite B-sides from the uh, original shoegazing first wave. That's for sure. Die, Die, Die. That's um, one of the uh, sort of bonus tracks, I think. I think it was only on the Japanese edition, something like that. Um, yeah, I mean, Robin Guthrie, he played some of the bass lines and guitar feedback. And he mixed a couple of songs like, uh, yeah, Auto Sleeper, something more. They were the ones that Robin worked on. Yeah, Robin uh, Guthrie from the Cocteau Twins. Um, again, you know, like Alan Moldo, like they're the people you really want to work with. Um, John Lecky, Nigel Godrich, just people like that were like geniuses in that period, that that eighties, nineties period. They were the they were the guys really, and Flood and Daniel Lanois, um, people like Brian Eno as well, helping with the Sue Lucky album and. Um, I'm going to get onto that in a minute, actually, because um, Slowdive have uh, announced a gig, a warm-up gig for Glastonbury, and they're playing in uh, Exeter, which is basically like less than an hour's drive from Plymouth, uh, where I live. So, yeah, I'm totally delighted about that. It's only like one month to wait as well. So, yeah, I'm delighted. Slowdive couldn't come any more southwest than that. So, yeah, well done, Slowdive. The, uh, <laughs> talking a lot about the Reading bands today. Um, oh yeah, there's that poster there, that, which is right behind, right behind me. So that's cool. Uh, Whirlpool was the second biggest selling indie album in the UK after the KLF that year in '91. Wow, didn't know that. Well, that's quite incredible. Because KLF were um, successful, weren't they? And they burned the. Um, a million pounds, which is what it said in, uh, in the How Soon Is Now book uh, by Richard King. Um, oh, Reading Festival, that's quite infamous in regards to uh, Chapter House because they played just before Nirvana and Nirvana came on and like Kurt jumped on the drum kit, didn't he? And sort of put on a real good show. And then that was kind of signaling the change of the uh, American... American invasion really of of grunge that was like the uh the watershed moment really when Nirvana in 91 followed Chapter House so yeah it's quite unfortunate that they uh you know they're kind of Chapter House are kind of infamous for being the band that like played just before Nirvana and then that kind of blew blew them away in the critics opinion um Although they're, you know, I think they're both, um, I think they're both like got worthy traits and stuff, but totally different sounds. Um, so that's really cool. A nice little book there. Um, I'm not going to go through all of it. Um, obviously, we've got, uh, well, this is the Whirlpool cover, but um, it looks like it's. It's got free Ford and Sunburst like all together on one CD there. So you get the full album, then you get the uh, EPs on it. This is the uh, Courtyard demos. Um, so that's referring to the studio in Oxford, I guess, Oxfordshire, um, which is where Slow Dive recorded uh, just for a day. Um, so these are the demos. Um, Come Heaven in My Arms. Oh, it's got the Pearl, Pearl and Mesmerize EPs on there. Um, yeah, like Summer Chill, Precious One. Precious One is really super underrated. I love the um, Stone Roses baggy kind of drumming on there. And they've got stuff like bongos going on. And, you know, it's like uh, I Am The Resurrection a bit by the Stone Roses. Um, but it's mixed with like a shoegazy, shimmery, magical sound. Um, and that's what Chapter House were all about for me i think 
they had the shimmery shoegaze guitars, but they had the kind of danceability with the baggy beats. And that was a huge part of their appeal. Um, you know, whereas like Ride were like straightforward rockers, um, I would say that Chapter House had, had a more danceability about them. So there's blood music there. Um, oh, it's got B-sides to it as well. Um, like Frost. Frost is already on YouTube. Um, yeah, disappointing thing is that some people have actually uploaded these like B-sides like years ago. Um, they've obviously found them from somewhere. And a lot of uh, some of this is quite it's uploaded already. Um, Age, Picnic, Love Forever. Oh, it's only got like three B sides on it, and then because Love Forever, Confusion Trip, um, that's all on the album. Greater Power, that's quite a good one. Uh, what's this here? This is uh, oh, like remixes of some Blood Music stuff. Alpha Phase. Got some remixes there. Um, this is this is some like more sort of remixes here for their older stuff, rarities and remixes. Um, and then this is the one I'm really interested in because this is the um, this is the uh, the sort of the demos following uh, Blood Music, so the '94 to '95 period when Britpop had already took off. Um, this yeah this is really the disc i'm interested in most i mean look i mean i don't recognize a lot of these tunes um i don't recognize most of them too late we can fly like i, I don't recognize them brighter um No, I haven't heard any of these, I don't think. So that this is the one I'd be most intrigued. But anyway, everything's really incredible anyway about this box set. And I'm really looking forward to uh, checking it all out. Um, it's great to have it all in like one package as well. So like even if you have the CDs already and vinyl, it's nice to have a nice looking box set like this uh, where, you can, where I can just reach in and just pull out everything that's good about Chapter House all in one box that's that's what's so good about it yeah so there you go guys the chaps house chronology um and these are the pins as well with it there you go nice chapter house pin there of the actual box set can wear that on your uh your shoegaze battle jacket <laughs> or um yeah or your baggy stripy jumper like what i'm wearing now you can put it on there no logo proper shoegaze and uh or you can wear it on your your baggy uh stripy cardigan which is the other thing that i usually wear um yeah so cool and uh make sure you wear a jazz master as well <laughs> all right there you go guys um so yeah the other great thing is i mentioned it earlier is that slow dive are playing exeter the phoenix on june the 24th which so pretty much a month away and it's really the furthest southwest they've ever got uh it's a warm-up gig for their glastonbury appearance so yeah if you're at glastonbury if that's going to be easier for you to catch then uh be sure to catch load slow dive live um i really hope that slow dive have new material i'm really hoping that they're gonna play some new stuff from the upcoming album which new holstead insists is actually finished um so yeah i'm gonna put the poster up right here um and yeah that's it guys really um have a great day and be sure to check out the uh chapter house chronology bye